Hello everybody, it's Maxi, and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series. Let's just jump straight back in. Uh, I was only trying to communicate. Uh, yes, I forgot what she you said. You should be proud of freeing me. I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so boring. I don't know that how I trust could you. could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please. Okay. I need no one. I'd rather hey, stay out. Stop. Okay, what's inside me is for me and me alone to stress out about, okay? Oh, no. no. He's getting flustered. Did I say the wrong thing? Yeah. It's been a long time since I've communicated with anyone. And people Not saying can anything. be so complicated. Complicated may be an overstatement, but aside from that, pretty spot on. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. Fair it's enough. It's my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. Sounds important. <laughs> and introducing her to the others might be <laughs> really fun. Yeah, I don't trust we that. Try on first. Oh, let's do Drax. I got just the one. Rocket's going through a hard enough time at the moment. Let's not mess with him. Groot, uh, I just don't think it would be as funny. I think it still would be funny. I, I, I was sort of a, 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 it was between Groot and Drax because I, I think Rocket's had enough. You know, we don't need her feeling all his feelings. What is this? Trophy, a momentary lapse of reason. The big green tattoo man is filled with sadness. What? No. He lacks direction. I do not lack direction. Only once have I required a map. <laughs> now he is ashamed for his outburst. Mantis is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion! Oh no, don't She's you! also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job yep. to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. <sighs> okay. Long ago... Wait, he... wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Kinda. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Yeah. Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I wanna know. Well, I, for one, wanna hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. I don't know of if I can trust Peter you. Quill, I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago. The Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. I don't get it. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving. Right, and to okay. And guide the wielder down the right path. Okay. And I waited. And waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried <laughs> to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Cree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated, locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well. Thanks a lot for that, Pete. Okay. How? Hmm. What an interesting and relevant story. 
It was you relevant. Heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important. Part. Oh, I'll skip to it then. There is a legend of the Celestial One, the chosen one who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One, what are they like? Advanced intellect, emotionally mature. Um, wise I'm not sure that's Peter. Dark waters. I'm sure. Yeah, I power. think it is. Under all his. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires, to choose for the greater good. Yeah, I think you got the wrong guy here. I'm just a kid from Earth. It does not matter where you were born. It only matters what you do. You are the Celestial One, Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this Celestial What's-It, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge Aww. is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... Undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. Well, that sucks. Who is sucking what? No, he means that is unfortunate. It does not have to suck. What do we gotta do? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And destroy it? True power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Oh. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. So Why I would... would I destroy the forge? This thing sounds awesome. <coughs> Holla. <clears throat> its awesomeness comes with a price. Yeah, let's listen to Life the price. Energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So we'd have to kill a bunch so of people. Someone still has to die for the thing to work. Well, let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. No, yes. Rocket, we're not killing Wait. people. Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy him. I agree. Is return Look. Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh... I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, hey, you try understanding I am Groot all the time. I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So... It is a tie, then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. We right should destroy now, it. I'm, I'm thinking we destroy it. We can't all kill people. Get hands on this again. If she does, we're gonna all be speaking Cree. Uh, we're that dead. too. <laughs> well, one I'm... way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha <sighs> Huh. Look, we... Why is it... Hang on a second. Uh, just... I don't know. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Oh yeah, just like that. Lady, I'm not a magic miracle worker. Oh my god, okay. Hi guys, let's talk to Drax. Drax, how are you doing? I am distraught. Look. The Forge can bring my family back. I know, but do you really want to kill a whole family? Destroying it. Well, I... You are our leader. 
and it is your decision. Mm -hmm. So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Listen. Even though you did not trust me to guard Nebula. Well, that. And you did not behave in a trustworthy manner just now. Uh. Huh? You had no right to have the antenna woman do that to me. Sorry. You did not even ask my permission. Mantis was just doing what I asked. That is all on me, buddy. I'm sorry. I accept I'm sorry about apology. that. Because you are too feeble-minded to know any different. Hey! She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. Hey, you shouldn't but be ashamed of Talking to you, a frequently scared person, has helped. Yeah. Anytime, Drax. <laughs> Thumbs up on that one. But la, la, uh, why? Why did people not not getting the bigger issue here? Okay, yeah, there's Holler in our army, sure. There's that thing, but I think the big issue is that we'd have to kill a bunch of people to bring all the people we want back. We're not murderers. We're the guardians of the freaking galaxy, for God's sake. Why is no one getting that? Why? Why is it not going through their thick heads? Oh my God, my crew sometimes need a good slap. Sometimes, honestly. Right, let's go get it through the the rest of their fixed calls. <laughs> Hi, Groot. I don't speak Groot, but I'll hey give it a group. go. Oh, is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this: we're all gonna be okay, no matter what happens with the forge. I am Groot. <laughs> <laughs> that one's that one's good. Talk to Rocket. Hey, bud, hey what's Rocket. Up? Go away. No. I am Groot. What? You heard me. Oh. I can't believe how selfish you're being. First, you broke your promise about going to Half World with me. Cause you were more worried about that Nimrod Nebula. You know, because why would I factor into any of your decisions? Lives were at stake, Rocket. She would have done a lot more damage if we had waited. I am Groot. Now, now you're thinking of destroying that thing? When we know what it can do? When you we know what it means to me? We have to destroy it, Rocket. You know we do. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. Okay. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. You don't mean that, Rocket. Now you're telling me what I don't mean. Man, the ego on you. I meant every damn word. I am Groot. Have a nice night. Rocket. You're drunk. Well, Hi. that's... One way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Oh. Okay. You, girls! Girls, stop it. Fine. Fine! Oh my god. Okay. Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. I'll talk to her from me for you. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. I know you are. I, I just can't find the right words with her. Yeah, Nebula's a hard one. But maybe... Maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again, when she's calmed down. Yeah. Give her some space, without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I don't know, it's just Nerf saying. I have no idea. Hang around. Just, maybe not right now. 
think she needs some alone time. All right, I'll talk to her. I get it, your empathness is like... Hang on a second, where where are they? Are they down here somewhere? Nebula! Hey! Um... Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey. It's me, <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. Yeah, going great so far, Pete. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh... This is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Oh, man. You were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well... <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Flat. Here Just you go. Someone appreciates my skills. Nebula appreciates your skills. Nebula. Speaking Wait, what? Gamora, sister, even. Oh, you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we I saw were in the it. Temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Enlighten Not me. Not all of it, at least. Tell me then. then show me. Sorry. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Understood. I wouldn't blame you. I'd I'd kick my ass too. I'm still not sure I trust the Mantis. Honestly, I would have been a bit more pissed off at the whole fact that she used our memories against us. I wouldn't have been so cool with it. <laughs> I might have thrown a few punches. <laughs> she would have been annoyed, but hey. Is everything all right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Gamora is a good teacher. I owe all my knowledge to her. And yet you emerged the victor. You have clearly outgrown her teachings. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me, but I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. That's not the reason You've why. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher. And my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. 
I'll be monitoring the situation. It looked like you needed help, so. Nebula! Nebula, are you alright? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But Father- Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Nebula. Father. You don't need Gamora anymore. And neither do I. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Oh. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine, here. Hmm. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. <sighs> Still kinda looks like you betrayed out of me. Should have told Thanos to fuck off. That he could have no daughters instead. Is it done? What's going on? What are you making him see? It wasn't over. She showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life. it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me by killing if me. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got Ooh. to see that part. The most important part. But I did. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. I do believe her. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! He's... <laughs> it happens. 
sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could give each other a chance. Oh. All right. Are you, are you gonna hug or is that it? Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay, let's go. Is Nebula gonna be part of our team? Is she gonna come with us on missions and stuff? That would be cool. I like her. Despite how crazy she is sometimes. Trophy earned, blood on the tracks. Let's go see this shrine or whatever it is. I don't trust Mantis. I just don't. Everything happened so quickly. Maybe it's me holding a grudge about her showing the memories and letting us believe that, you know, our family could be alive and stuff and messing with all our minds. Maybe I'm still a little bitter about that. Which is weird because the characters aren't. I'm more oh, angry than they are. My favorite assassin <laughs> sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Nebula. <laughs> Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Aw. Uh, what are you- Oh. Hiya. Ow! Hey! What? Oh, was that a dagger? Was it- What do you got, a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. Hey. <laughs> You're a good friend, Peter. Mm-hmm. Aw. Hi, guys. How you doing? Feeling a bit uh, better, hey, Rocket? Hey, uh, I threw some mean words your way back there, and I, uh... I just... I wanted to apologize, you know? I know. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Hey, don't even worry about it, man. Best friends forever? Yeah, at least until death. <laughs> close enough. <laughs> Wow, you take great pride in yourself. For someone who is so sad. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, lady. Hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? Why, Why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh, God. The little box. Oh, so much sorrow. <laughs> Why are we crying? I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings. Overly focused on the past. I wouldn't say that poisoned. Not living here in the now, experiencing all the wonderful things around you. Like I think it's better to focus on the future. You know, anything can be possible tomorrow. That is a hopeful sentiment, and very naive. Oh, shut but up, lady. Sometimes you need that. Shut up, lady. I'm not sure I like you. Thank you You're for weird. letting me listen to your uh, music. It, it, it's... it made me feel better. And worse at the same time. I loved it. Okay. I don't. You're weird, but not in a good way, but in a good way. I don't know. Uh, let's check the codex quickly. We haven't got time to go to the shrine right now, anyway. Oh my god. It, is there actually anything new? Is it me or has Jack's been eating a lot more lately? I better keep an eye on the snacks. Uh, there's no updates. Gamora. Gamora's memory of a mission with Nebula is really painful to experience. Oddly, the memory reminded Gamora of the good hands of her sister, even though Nebula totally stabbed her. Super glad I never had a sibling. Alright, that's all the time I got for this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with some more Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale, Telltale series.